is the Tree Talk series. In short, what it is, is I took the bark of one birch tree, translated the mark, as you know those little black slits in the bark? I translated all those marks into a digital file, which then got cut into a player piano roll on the paper. You put it into the player piano and you hear the tree as a musical composition. This is a video that is shown uh, in the exhibit so that you can hear all the time because somebody cannot be with an instrument running this thing. You see the image on the left? Yeah. He's shooting it and I'm shooting him. The grouping of the work that received the grand prize. Here is um, a collage and drawing that I made from a section of the tree bark. Here is a section of the tree bark. Here's the video so you can hear the music. And there's one of the music rolls that was cut. Notice how much fatter the roll is? Because the first tree was about a 20 foot section. This is a 40 foot tree. Wow. These are started as a rubbing from the bark itself. So there's going to be one that's 40 feet long. And both the bark and this drawing collage is shown. We're also going to show um, the roll itself. I did some silk screens with a master printer at the International Graphic Center in Ljubljana. There's a new video um, installation which is the spot where I would have breakfast with the three trees. Um, so it's a huge projection of that spot. It's a one hour straight shot. And there's these two little chairs where I used to sit. The projection itself is going to cast a shadow onto the, the wall to scale. So they sort of like it reflects the absence of the spot where I would be sitting. That's the piece that you were... Oh, yeah. Self-service. A pair of panties that I made out of um, rawhide, and it has braille on the crotch. Remember the, the famous uh, George Bush, read my lips? That's what it says in braille in the crotch, read my lips. That's pretty overt. Tongue penis-like um, piece that's also covered with rawhide and there's a, a chainsaw inserted in it just, uh, that protrudes from the wall and uh, it's certainly Gloria, actually Gloria, I use Gloria in that installation but it, it was also like a standalone piece, you know, and it's sort of like um, a riff on the glory hole. This is Gloria. And you could argue that Sculpture, by definition, is a three-dimensional object that you can touch that has density and weight. Even those things, you could apply it to the density of the notes. Um, tactility, no, you can't touch them, but they do exist in space in a time frame. You know, it's like, look how long it took to, you know, accept photography as art film as art you know that conversation art you know has a history of being really stubbornly visual and you know self-defining as this or that and it's like you know it takes time for being inclusive <laughs>